Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have the Booberry. We have a beer that the Booberry brought for us. This is the Farmery Premium Lager. So Farmery Ooh. is the Farmery Brewery in Winnipeg, Manitoba. These guys were the guys that were on Dragon's Den. Um, I don't remember which dragon bought into them. Uh, they were on Dragon's Den, I believe it was season one, trying to turn, trying to get money for the uh, farm. Ago. Well, no, this this they turned it into a brewery later, but they were right. trying. They were trying to. It was the beginning. They yeah. were doing a, yeah. another business, and they were trying to put the family farm up, and they didn't get a deal in that one. And then they came back with the farmery brewery idea, and were trying to make the the brewery into a uh, a state brewery, basically. So mm -hmm. like a winery, you would go, you'd have your meals and all that, and that's what they were trying to sell. And they got a deal off of that. I just don't remember which dragon bought into them. Anyway, uh, back here it says, uh, no corn, corn syrup, or rice, just traditional ingredients. And, yeah. <sighs> Only thing I have to say, though, is there's no real reason to make a craft lager. No real reason. Thank you. Go, young lady. Is that my lady? It is. Here you go, Stabby McStabberson. <laughs> Self Stabby McStabberson. So, yeah. Um, now, I know they advertise no corn, no rice, no corn syrup. But that is that bright golden neon pea color that you get usually when you buy a uh, when you buy a adjunct lager. That's that's the color that I associate with it at least. But hey, doesn't mean it's going to be a bad beer. I'm just saying color wise, it's like it's that. Bubbling. Almost no head. Lots of bubbles moving in there. Um. It almost smells a little caramelly. I'm gonna ask if anyone else is smelling almost butter. Yeah, yeah something rich, something rich in there. Buttery. Yeah, that's uh, that's buttery dragons. That's buttery dragons. It's buttery. <laughs> and for those in the beer, know that is usually a sign of a uh, of a fault. Not always, usually. Fair enough. Right. Cheers. Cheers. It's all right. You taste a little bit of that butteriness. Yep. It goes into nothing, I find, after. Like, no aftertaste. Okay. I'm picking up, picking up a graininess at the forefront. Can't really say it's malt in general because it doesn't have that sweetness that malt has. It's just a, a grainy earthiness. Uh, then it's a butteriness, and then like you said, it kind of just fades off to nothing. Um, oh, it says, it says light and crisp with very little aftertaste. What do you know? <laughs> Here's the thing. When you make a craft lager. It's going to cost more than a big company lager. And it's going to cost more than a big company lager for the sole fact that it is a small batch and it's using more natural ingredients. It's not using rice, it's not using corn, it's not using corn syrup. So it's going to taste, well it's going to cost more so that's why it costs more for you to buy it. Then when you make it taste like an adjunct lager, the question comes, why buy this? over a Molson or over a Coors or over a 50 or over an X or anything like that. When you when you put the price into comparison, I mean, yeah, it's it is more natural ingredients. It's not as it's not as gross for you, but why at the same time? Yeah. See, it's probably just like the marking like you want to support the little guys that's local. You want to support um, what they're about, so they have to have a lot available. Support, blind support is just fucking retarded. Well, that's unfortunately what a lot of people out there I, do, either, either make a good product or don't get supported. 
Fair what you're basically doing is making the exact same product that's been around the country forever. Mm -hmm. And charging more money for it. Dragons. Dragons. You put money into this shit. Dragons. It's not a bad beer. It shouldn't be buttery. First off, it shouldn't be buttery. Go and get somebody that, uh, you know, go and get your little people to audit the place and, you know, learn something about the place. And it shouldn't be buttery. But, is it a bad lager? No, it's not a bad lager. I'm just pissed off because this is what they put out. And this is, this is their flagship beer. This is one of, I believe it's their only beer. At least it was when they first came out. Oh. And, I mean, I know Winnipeg isn't the booming metropolis of beer in Canada, but why? Go buy a fucking old style Pilsner for like a dollar a can. Yeah, it's nothing special. No, and that's that's my only thing. Is it a bad beer? Not at all. No. And my rant must make it seem like it is, but it's not a bad beer. But why? No, and you're looking at the entire like world of beer, the entire industry of beer. That's, you know. And why is it buttery? Please Do you just not cold. brew very well? Or is are you doing like the Grand River Brewing and putting that in as your signature? Maybe. Because it's either accidental or it's purposeful. Only two choices. Which one is it? Dragons. 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 Uh, no, out of ten. You know what? All my ranting aside, it's, it's probably worth a six. I wouldn't pay money for it ever. But it's not a bad beer. I'm going to give it... Uh, seven. That's what I'm going to give it, a seven. And I do believe they have something else out, too. I'm just not sure what it is. Yeah, I know when they first opened that this was it. I just didn't... I don't follow them enough to know if it's anything else or not right now. Yeah, I didn't have a good look. There were so many beers to choose from that I haven't seen, so I just, like, grabbed a bunch and went. Alrighty, YouTube. First off, thank you, Booberry, for bringing yeah, this back. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Farmery. Thank you, Dragons. Bye, guys. <laughs>